What's up guys? So before we actually get into this video, I need a little quick assistance here because as you're going to see, I don't quite do what I want to get done today. Um, I'll probably mention a couple times in the video, but please let me know what you guys have used for this node here. We're talking about the guild settlement. We're talking about finally clearing our last exalted node and it's the abyss one versus Marax. Uh, I try Mara or I try wall deck. So close. I think wall deck might work with my little tweaks that I'm setting up, but definitely let me know because I don't know if I'm doing this right. So leave a comment. Let's jump right into it. What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we have a big accomplishment, I'm hoping, as long as I don't screw this up, in our guild settlement, we have every single one of them to Exalted, except for one that we just finished today. Now, here's the thing, I feel like I'm probably going to have to V4 the wall deck to be safe, I just want to clear it out and have it completely done maxing, I know other people have it done faster, Ooh, I did some like accidental stuff at some times where I was like doing overkill on certain ones, On not all of them, just a couple of them, these kind of continue to build up as you go through and you uh, your guild kind of keeps giving you progression on different ones, but we did finally get land of heat done, so... I think it's probably worth the gems to make sure we can clear this out. So let's take a look. Imprint heroes. Who do we have that we can just regress them for right now? Could do Olivia. No. I don't want. Do I want to do Drake? No, I don't think I want to. I think we just choose one of the Rogans. I think. Definitely not this one because it's the householder. I can tell because it has the artifact. So let's. Let's get rid of this and let's just go to the wall deck. Let's get him clearing this out. Uh, get him better gear. We'll actually swap out the artifact too. I'm thinking melodic strings. Nah, let's just go with like a crown. Who's got a crown besides my transcendence? Because I always forget to put them back on the transcendence. And then I feel really, really bad about it. As you can see, not even all my heroes have artifacts right now, which feels really bad. Okay, I guess we'll take it off of the Asmodel for the time being. Let's get back over to that wall deck. Give him his gear set up. Nope, 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 nope. I just saw that. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. We're going to fully imprint just to make sure V4 gets it done, clears it out. I want to be done with this. Benito, we're basically just like the the, the gems we're gonna get from completing it. We're essentially just wiping out right now. Ay ay ay! All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, let's do this. Let's do that. Let's make sure I actually do the V four because a lot of times I do this, and then I always forget to hit the activate, and it feels bad. So we have a fully set up wall deck. We're going to go in here to the territory, to Guild Settlement, down to the Land of Heat. And, man, Marax is a tough one. He really is a tough one compared to some other factions out there. So, I feel like this is going to be okay. I think he's going to be tanky enough to eat the entire active from the Marax. Ooh, that's still a lot of damage, though. Jeez, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nope, we still die. <laughs> Oh my god, this Marax is horrible. Maybe we need to go in like an active ability? <sighs> I wanted to be done. <laughs> Just wanted to be done so bad. What have you guys used on this one? I feel like with a little RNG, that probably would have cleared. You know what I probably messed up on? Was having him more in the tanky setup. I think we would have had the damage if I had him set up like this. I think that would have been fine. Also doing like... Dot Purify, maybe? Or, honestly, just Shared Fate, give him a little extra attack, because he doesn't CC. I think that's what we'll do tomorrow. I think we'll get that done, because, man, I, <laughs> I wanted this last chest. Literally gonna cost the 1,000 gems that we're doing to swap it over. We'll net 20 positive, but the big thing is, we will be hitting the limit, and, uh, yeah. Actually, have we already hit the max limit? Hold on. No, no, you get two more. You go from 13 to 15. Right? Why is that's weird that it says you've hit the max level when I haven't? Oh, okay, there we go, there we go. I was just still on the old one, sorry. So yeah, we'll hit it. Uh, two more points, so that'll be 108. How many guild coins is that a day? 
180 guild coins times 24 hours. That's 4,300 guild coins a day. That's not even counting what you're getting from like Star Expedition from all the things from Guild Wars. The uh, the rewards, getting like Royal Amethyst gives you 13k pretty much every what? Every other week. Ace Championship gives us probably like another 8 to 10 because we only come in like 3rd to 4th now. I think that's what we did, yeah. We came in, I think, I guess you could call it 4th overall. Sadly, when we uh when we fought, we had to go up against our the big guild Omega project and District Omega could not stand up to that. We got kind of got trounced, but it's still pretty good. Like we did, we did pretty solid here overall, which I was surprised this time. So we're gonna have to come back. We're gonna have to figure that out again. I think crown's the way to go, but if you guys know of something different. I think honestly just changing to all those attack nodes will be better. And of course we have like a couple wall deck pieces. Actually, that's pretty good. The all damage dealt. I think just changing over to 16% extra attack, getting the 1.2% for surviving. Cause I mean, we don't have to worry about CC. We don't have to worry about any of that and we should be good to go. So besides that, we are kind of done with that part of the game. We're not really pushing sea land as of lately. I got like 126. I still haven't done 25 in Shadow just because, again, I don't want to reallocate all my resources on Cloud Island. And a lot of you guys have been asking for a video talking about Cloud Island, knowing when to do more than one residence and if you put everything in one re one residence or you split it up or anything like that. So I'll try to do a. I know there's a pretty cool video out there, or not video, there's a link out there going over. Um, a calculator for you to figure out what the best optimal setup would be i just try to even mine out a little bit honestly like if i can i will even them out if i can't then hey that's that's a whole different story there but uh, i'm trying to keep these kind of in the same ballpark as each other keeping both our eos and our uh vesa pretty even 60 60 50 60 can we upgrade this one now oh man you need so many toolboxes is a struggle but i'll try to do that too but mainly i want you guys to let me know what you guys have been using and if you use different here like does delacium do better i feel like waldex got to be like the best answer besides maybe like a natasha i feel like natasha would be good but i don't want to i don't even think i can build a natasha right now i'm like pretty tapped out on hero copies in general uh, and then, of course, we have a new hero coming up, not next week, but the week after that, which should be good time for us to test the new Transcendence hero out in Broken Spaces. And then the other thing is Guild Altar. I've been having a ton of fun in Guild Altar. We'll probably have a video later today on that with the Vesa combo that we have because I'm really, really enjoying the team that we have right now. And, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think about the Waldeck, and I'll see you guys next time.